Happy Wednesday from the fabulous Florida Keys. I'm Gary McAdams with EXP Realty. Please excuse my raspy voice. I'm just getting over a flu, so I'm going to sound a little nasally for the next few days. But This is my morning market MLS update video I do every day right about this same time. I report all the new listings in Key West and the lower keys that have come on the market in the last 24 hours. Follow this video every day. You'll know about every new listing from Big Pine Key down to Key West the same day the realtors know about them. That's very valuable information for a buyer to have. I find most buyers wait for a home to come on to Zillow before they'll inquire about it. And the problem they face there is by the time Zillow puts a house live, it's been on the multiple listing service a couple days. All the good deals are already under contract. If you follow this video every day and see something you like, give me a call and we'll make an appointment to go see the property. And if you like what you see after we look at it, we can write up an offer and have the property under contract before most buyers are ever aware it was even for sale. You can also get a much more detailed description of these properties if you follow my blog, keywestinvesting.com. I update that every day as well. I'll put the web address in the description below, but it's keywestinvesting.com. There'll be a lot more details on the homes, room dimensions, any unique features the home may have, photos of the inside, photos of the outside. If it happens to be a waterfront house, it'll show a photo of the water view and the dockage. It's just a lot more information that I can cram into a quick you know, a couple minute YouTube video. Again, it's keywestinvesting.com. If you like this video, please let me know. Click that thumbs up like symbol down below. If you want to see more videos of this nature and keep current with what's being listed on the Florida Keys for sale, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do a video of this nature every day. Also, make sure you stay to the end. I'm running a special right now where I'm willing to contribute $1,000 of my commission to go right towards your closing costs. But you have to wait to the end of the video to hear about that. We had a pretty busy day today. We have nine new listings from Big Pine Key down to Key West to talk about. But before I give you the information on the listings, the state of Florida's legal department makes me cover the boring stuff. The information I'm about to give you comes directly from the Florida Keys Multiple Listing Service. I'm not accepting any responsibility for any of these listings. I'm not claiming any of these listings to be my own listings. And I'm not accepting any responsibility if there's any inaccuracies in the information I give you. I'm simply reading it to you right from the multiple listing service. In fact, in a day like today where we have so many properties, you'll probably see me glance down a few times. I'm just looking at my computer to make sure I read it to you right. The first one's a small condo in Key West's Bahama Village neighborhood on Emma Street. It's a one-bedroom, one-bathroom, 416-square-foot condo, which is teeny. It's being offered at $639,000, which personally I think is overpriced for that neighborhood and that size. Another thing that concerns me with these smaller condos, is what they are is they're the big houses from back in the days when the families had 8 and 10 and 12 kids. Now the houses have been broken up into you know two-unit, three-unit, four-unit condo complexes. If you're interested in a property of that nature, make sure you look at the financials close during your due diligence period and check the reserves. Make sure they have enough money in reserves for any upcoming potential repairs. Otherwise, you know, if the house needs a new roof or it needs to be painted, you know, you know, some wood rot needs to be done or the pool needs to be resurfaced, all of a sudden each owner gets a large assessment that you have to pay immediately and there's really nothing you can do about it. Especially this particular unit, the HOA fees are only $50 a month, which you know, that may sound great now going into it, but it won't sound so great when you have to put a $20,000 roof on. There's no money in reserves, so definitely make sure you check the financials. Then we go to Key West's Truman Annex neighborhood, which is one of the nicer, more upscale neighborhoods in Old Town. We have a great home there. It's five bedrooms, five bathrooms, 3,213 square feet. It's being offered at $5,700,000. There's a lot of good advantages to the Truman Annex, but the two biggest ones are you, first, you can rent in there for seven-day intervals. Most of Key West has a 30-day minimum rental period by law, but the Truman Annex, you can rent in seven-day intervals. And also the location. You're about a block and a half off Duval Street. You can walk everywhere. You don't need a car if you're staying there. You can fly in and a cab or an Uber from the airport to the Truman Annex would be about $15. So then you can get everywhere you need to go walking. Another good advantage there. 
Then we go to Key West Castle Marina area neighborhood, which is a real upscale, nice neighborhood. We have a four bedroom, three bathroom, 1,513 square foot house on Seminary Street. That's being offered at $1,750,000, which is really cheap for the Castle Marina. Then in Key West, Newtown neighborhood on Patterson Ave, we have a four bedroom, three bathroom, 1,518 square foot house. That's being offered at $1,174,900. I have no idea where they come up with that price, but that's what's on the MLS. I personally don't like Patterson Ave myself. It runs parallel with North Roosevelt, which is the main commercial road going in and out of Key West. It gets really loud. You hear the del delivery trucks going by real early every morning. Then we go to the Key West Golf Club. There's a two-bedroom, one-and-a-half bath, 780-square-foot townhouse on Kingfisher Lane. That's being offered at $679,000, which is really low for the golf club. It's a great deal there. Then we go to a neighborhood called Smurf Village. We call it Smurf Village because the houses look like the houses in the old cartoons, the Smurfs. It's a two-bedroom, two-bathroom, 1,032-square-foot house being offered at $659,000. Smurf Village is an area I tell my buyers stay away from. They're deeded as individual single family homes, but there's four of them to a building and there is no HOA, no rules, no governing body. So if everything goes well and you have good neighbors that all pitch in their fair share, it could be a good thing. But if you have bad neighbors and you need to replace the roof or you know, the property needs to be tented or something and everyone's not willing to pay their fair share, you're stuck paying the whole bill. They've had cases go to court over that and nothing ever comes of it because there is no rules in place. There's nothing in place saying everybody has to pitch in if something like that happens. So for that reason, I say stay away from Smurf Village. Plus, personally, I just feel the houses over there are ugly. Then on Venetian Drive in Key West's Newtown neighborhood, we have a pretty rare house that's on the canal. There's not many canal front houses in Key West because there's only one working canal system on the actual island of Key West. This one is a three bedroom, three bathroom, 1,935 square foot house. It's being offered at $1,495,000, which is really low for a price, low for price for a canal front house in Key West. Then we go up to Key Haven, which is about five minutes out of Key West, a very high end upscale community. There's a four bedroom, four bathroom, 3,110 square foot house being offered at $2,945,000. That's really low price for a house on Evergreen Lane in uh, Key Haven. Evergreen is one of the nicest streets. Evergreen Ave, I'm sorry. Evergreen is one of the nicest streets in Key Haven. Then we go up to Big Pine Key to a neighborhood called Doctor's Arm. I actually lived in Doctor's Arm for about five years when I first moved to the Keys 33 years ago. There's a four bedroom, three bathroom, 2,000 square foot house on the canal. It's being offered at $1,800,000, which is a good price for a house that big on, that, that, uh, on, a, on the canal. I'm sorry, again, my voice with the cold, please excuse me. But luckily I don't have to talk any longer. That's the last listing we have for today. Now, as promised, my offer to contribute $1,000 of my commission and go towards your closing costs. If you buy or sell any home with me anywhere in the Florida Keys between now and June 30th of this year, I will contribute $1,000 of my commission to go right towards your closing costs. The only other requirement you have to meet is simple. It takes less than one second. You can do it right now. You have to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to take advantage of this offer. I look forward to showing you homes in the fabulous Florida Keys. Look forward to working with you, and most of all, I look forward to making you my neighbor. I'm Gary McAdams with EXP Realty.